know what it is, man. Detroit versus everybody, man. Detroit, we rep the hardest, man. We gain the hardest. You know what? You know what it is, man. Detroit, CJ, holla at your boy when we get home. All right, man. Let's talk about uh, Terrence Crawford and Turkey Out of Sheep. Uh, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. That subscribe button is the bell icon button. Now, apparently, Terrence Crawford, Turkey Out of Sheep retweeted Terrence Crawford picture out with an emoji with a boxing glove. Terrence Crawford retweeted it, so a lot of people think he said something. And a lot of people thought, you think they cooking something else up, cooking something up with some rumors that he could be fighting, I think, Israel Matamov, the super WBA champion. I get him and the other guy that got the IBF back, Ryan Martavelli, whatever his name is, uh, confused and shit, but, uh, or mixed up. And basically, what they, what they, you know, what the rumor is that his bug gonna fight the super WBA title holder, um, now, don't you bring it. Don't you bring your ass out there. Try, there's just some ignorant motherfuckers out here, bro. There's just some really some. Y'all be thinking people be ignorant in the city. Some ignorant drivers out out here, bro. I promise you. I promise you, dude. I probably I hate the I hate these drivers in the suburbs. I really hate y'all. But nonetheless. Uh, so rumor is he posed to fight the super WBA uh, title holder who just won it, I think, in Saudi Arabia. I could be wrong. I didn't see it. And they posed to fight for the vacant WBO. Now, the issue with this is this. Does that make any sense? Is that the super, the, the, the WBO is still held by Fondor. Now, according to Samson to the Whiskey, Fondor promoter, he said that, you know, Luis the Cubis and Bud is going to, you know, negotiate a deal where Fondor can keep the belt. But we already know you don't trust PBC or Al Heyman. You don't trust those guys. So Bud pretty much like, I'm not about to wait two or three years for a title shot. And I can get a unification shot. And they going to unify the titles. Y'all can kick rocks. Y'all can come back and negotiate with me when I got two titles. That's just me assuming what he probably going to say. And, you know, when Samson went on there and said that they didn't have a rematch in writing and that, uh, it's a handshake agreement, and an original agreement was the rematch was supposed to take place. What I read in Australia, now they balking at that. But when you put Earl Spence into the ring and call out, and then he called out Fondora, talking about the big dog is back and all this shit. He went from the dog, big dog, the truth, strap season, man down, big fish. You know what I'm saying? He went to so many names. Now he reinvented himself again. And, you know, Bud, like, hold on. They trying to bypass me for this shot? Now, all of a sudden, you saying that it wasn't it right? Nah, run that belt. Run that belt. So, Bud got a really good relationship with the WBO, and that's what that's what, that's what what doing good business is about, bro. That's why on your way up, you should be, you know, unless somebody violates you, violate your respect, on your way up, you should be cordial and nice and as kind to as many people as you can because on your way down, or, you know, even if you're still up, you still may, may need those people to elevate or, or keep elevating higher or whatever so that's how i feel so he still got that great relationship with the wbo they gonna they gonna help him out and um pvc don't they didn't recognize them they they tried to slander their name didn't want to recognize their belts and now they want them to do a favor and cop please they're like nah keep y'all motherfucking money you had Ryan Ennis jump out the wbo you wasn't acting like the champion that the title exists y'all wasn't claiming the real title y'all was forced to do so when it when Ruiz beat anthony joshua so so yeah, that's just the way it's going down. You know what I mean? But you know, to carry on even further, so now you know Turkey Al Sheik is working with Terrence Crawford. Now um, that's that's good money, you know. And he helping the brother out when they trying to freeze the brother out. Then y'all be wondering why brothers, you know, be you know doing business deals with the others because when uh, your own black people trying to blackball you and freeze you out and shit, what you supposed to do? What you expect the man to do? Starve or just sign a bad deal? Absolutely not. Y'all ain't that pro-black. A lot of black people can't even, you know, do a proper boycott. Can't even withhold y'all money. Y'all still spending money with Gucci and them. So miss me, miss me with that. Miss me with that shit. You know what I mean? But you know, shout out to shout out to them for doing right by Terrence Crawford, helping the brother out. If that's true. And he, you know, like Teddy Atlas said in the boxing scene article, he said, you know, Turkey Allen Sheik becoming the face of boxing. And the rumor has it is that that fight is going to be in America.
So they trying he's he gonna stage fights in America. And also, if if Fury beat Woosie, they talking he talking about staging that fight in the UK. So he know he knows he knows he knows that uh he knows that you know he he has he can't just do things in the Saudi Arabia. So. He taking the show on the road. So, shout out to them, man. I mean, hey, man, I, I, I'm with it. I'm with it, man. I, I'm, you know, I'm happy for Bud, bro. Um, solid dude. Take care of his people. Pay his people. You know what I'm saying? You know, he didn't want to do interviews. And, you know, Marshawn Lynch was like that at one point. You know, now you see Marshawn Lynch doing interviews with he, with he come, who he comfortable with. And, you know, you know, hey, man, shout out to him. I don't really hold grudges like that. Like, if you an enemy, you an enemy. You can't cross that line. That's just what it is. I ain't hold no grudge over no petty shit or no shit like that. But, you know, uh, but yeah, Fondora probably going to have to come off that belt. And so be it. So be it. You know, it is what it is. Um, you know, and Tim Zhu wasn't going to fight Bud regardless because he could have fought Bud before this fight and just got it over with. But he didn't do so. So, you know, he was, you know, uh, he was doing all that capping and shit, too. When I broke that news, a lot of people, especially in Australia, said, where you getting this information from? You lying. Y'all always say that shit, and I come up to be right. Told y'all Jamel and Earl left Derrick James last year. Y'all ain't believe me. Told y'all Canelo was ducking David Benavidez. Y'all didn't believe me. You know? So I kept y'all, I kept y'all in the loop on a lot of stuff that happened in boxing where a lot of these dudes didn't even know. Some of the stuff I can't even remember. These these dudes like baby mama boy and them niggas ain't got no them niggas don't talk to them, bro. Trust and believe me. Niggas ain't talking to them, bro. I can I can tell you that. People don't talk to them, man, because they know they not genuine. And baby mama boy just be lying. You just be lying on motherfuckers, man. You be like, damn, nigga, you got to lie like that. And these niggas that go to these events and you telling me that you going to these events and you telling me, right? And you telling me that nobody telling you no 411? You ain't forming no relationships? Because most of them niggas that cover boxing events is cornballs. I've been in the media room. Them niggas is corny. I've been in, you know, other media rooms. You can, you, you know, and it, you know, you know, them, you know, it's a, it's a different type of, of people, bro. Like, it's like going into a corporate office. And if you don't, if you don't have the versatility, you gonna stick out. You won't survive. But if you a true, genuine person, bro, and you solid, you know what I'm saying? Because being a good person, a lot of people's opinion can be subjective. You can do good things, but a lot of people may not think you're a good person. Oh, that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to be pay this. You're supposed to do this. You're supposed to hold the door open. You're supposed to do this. You know, a lot of people just don't associate with what you do. What you do is good. You know what I'm saying? Just think about for a lot of y'all brothers out there. Who told y'all last time, man? Hey, man, you're doing a good job, man. I'm proud of you. Nigga, what? High school graduation? College graduation? The last time a motherfucker told you that, bro. I'm proud of the man that you become. Think about that for a minute. But if you out here making mistakes or you made a mistake or you get accused of something you didn't really do. You know what I'm saying? Then then what they call then what they got a lot to say about you ain't shit, you a jailbird. You ain't give me twenty dollars, you borrow, borrow me. I'm telling you, bro. Just think about that. I'm the last time somebody said, Man, dog, Darius, I'm proud of you. James, I'm proud of you, man. You 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 a good dude, you a good father, you a you're a good brother, you go to work, you a lot. You niggas don't get that, bro. Brothers don't get niggas. Niggas definitely don't get that. Brothers don't get that. And just think about that for a minute, man, dude. But guess what? You you come up on the money, you come up on a lawsuit, you come up on a, a business. And that's why I tell you, if you get some bread or you got some successful, man, keep that shit to yourself. Listen to the kid. Keep that shit to yourself, cause niggas. They gonna want to, then you a good dude. Oh, you a good brother. I love you, man. Uh, uh, man, I knew you was gonna do it. And then everybody, man, keep if you get some bread, man, keep that shit off social media. Keep that away from family. All that shit. 
all that shit. Listen to me. That's how niggas say, oh, man, I'm, pretty, I'm proud of you, man. You would, Without you giving a nigga something, without you giving a woman something, without you, uh, you know, your baby mama call you and she need $100, you drop the $100 off. Oh, man. You know, but you say, oh, man, you know, I can't do it. I'm a little busy right now. I ain't going to have it till woo, 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 woo. I ain't going to be able to give it to you till then. The end, you the shit show. Everybody's always, you know, reciprocating positive energy when you're doing something for you. Last time, nigga, you just sitting there, nigga. You might be on the grill. You might just be typing something, reading something. Or you might just be over somebody's crib, just checking on them or whatever. When last time, nigga, checked up on you. When somebody checked up on you. Start thinking about those things. When you feel like, when you making Dennis video off, when you doing things that make you happy, bro. And I always tell people this, man. I tell guys this. Put yourself first sometimes. That's what granddaddies and your daddies and them dying early. And great granddad, put yourself first sometimes, bro. And that's that's real advice right there, man. Put yourself first sometimes. That's real spill, no bullshit. Put yourself first sometimes. You know? Because any and the only time some people say say something or or be appreciative is when you're doing something for their ass. But hey, shout out to Bud, shout out to Turkey Isle of Sheik, man. Anybody, and not, you know, niggas was hating on him and, and the movement that he had going on, and people was hating on him and stuff, man. If it's from progress boxing, I don't give a fuck what it is. If it's the if it's the fights that I I want to see, you know, uh, you know, cool. He he got a fan in me. He got a fan in me. So I I mean, shout out to him. If it's true, it's true. Bud fight for two belts, and he fighting somewhere. I might pull up on him. I might pull up on them. shit, you know. So, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance to get notifications. We go live and drop a video. Uh, check out the Box News Box Room playlist. Hit the link tree. Find me on Instagram, Facebook, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Amazon Music, Twitch, Kick, uh, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, um, Twitch. We, I mean, every, everywhere. So check it out, man. Appreciate the love, support, peace.